All right, well, let's go over the uh, homework that you had the other night, which was, or the other day, which was uh, double replacement and doing double replacement reactions. So the first one, you have BAF2 plus H2SO4. So you have this, and it's supposed to make something on the other side. So remember, in order to do these, what you had to do is you had to take the two positives and get them to trade places, kind of like a single replacement. But again, that's why it's called double replacement because they're going to double, they're each going to replace each other. So in this one, we have now BA, he's the positive piece, and the H is the positive piece. All right, so those are my two positives. Those two are going to trade places. It's going to join up with this F, which is negative one, and SO4 from that polyatomic ion paper, which that happens to be a negative two. Now remember, you don't bring any numbers across unless it's from the polyatomic ion paper, which that four is the only thing that came from the polyatomic ion paper. So we're gonna bring across, we're gonna bring um, H is gonna join up with F. So it's H ends up over here, ends up with F. And again, I didn't bring the twos with each one, okay, because those aren't from poly, the polyatomic ion paper. And then that's gonna combine with BA and SO4. I have the four because it is from page 140, or the uh, polyatomic ion paper. Now I have to go back and do my charges. H is plus one, F is minus one. Those guys cancel each other. Then we got BA is plus two, SO4 is minus two. They cancel each other. Now all that's left is we got to do um, the balancing on it. These guys, you should have found there was a lot to balance them, but as long as you do it step by step, they, they aren't as bad as they look. So you got a BA and two Fs plus got two H's and F's, four O's. <laughs> That's equal to an H and an F plus a B, A, and S, and four O's. Okay, look like an A. There we go. All right, so start with the BAs. You got one BA, one BA. That's even. F's, I got one, two F's, I got one F. So I need another one of this guy. Now I got two F's on both sides. Skip the H's, let's do S, one S, one S. And right, now we go back to the H's. One, two H's, one, two H's, four O's, four O's. There's my answer. So I got one, leave it blank, one, leave it blank, one, two, put it to one, leave it blank. And there's my answer. So there's the first one. All right, let's go to the second one. All right, second one I got. There's the second one. So again, we're gonna take the positives and get them to trade places. So here's my positive one, which, whoops, I put the wrong number down in there. If you notice at the top, it said all FEs are plus three in this one. Instead of being plus twos, because they I agree they are in the middle of the periodic table, but they have exceptions. And this one, that's an exception, it needs a plus three. So the NO3 from the polyatomic ion page, he's a negative one. Notice he's in parentheses in this one, because there's three of him. And then we got K, he's a plus one, and we got OH, that's a negative one. So the two positives are going to trade places. We're going to end up with FE, joins up with OH, plus... We get K joins up with NO3. All right, now we go back and do our charges. FE, remember I was, in the beginning I said he's a plus three. We got OH, that's a minus one. They don't cancel each other, so we got a crisscross that. So we put this in the parentheses, put the three out there. One goes there, leave it blank. Then we get K is a plus one, NO3 is a minus one. Those cancel each other. Now we're up to balancing it. All right, so we start with this one. We got an FE, and I got an N and three O's, but three times. Notice it's N and three O's three times. Plus, we got a K, an O, and an H. That's going to be equal to an FE, an O, and an H, but three times. Plus a K, an N, and three O's. Now, we'll start with FEs. First one, one, one. Those guys are even. Ends, I get one, two, three. And this side only got one, so I need some more of him. There's two. There's three. 
Then we jump over, we jump over the O's, do the K, I got one K, I got one, two, three K, so I need some more of this guy. All right, so the K's are even. Uh, okay, let's go back and we'll do, let's do the H's. We got one, two, three, one, two, three, that's even. Let's check the O's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So we're all even. Now we just go through and put our numbers in. One, leave it blank. One, two, three, put a three. One, leave it blank. One, two, three, put a three. And there's the final answer. All right, time to move on to the next one then. Number three. All right, so let's take the two positives, get them to trade. Here's a plus one. This guy's a minus two from the polyatomic ion page. That's one that we don't see very often, but he is on that other page. And we get Na is plus one, OH minus is, OH is negative one. So get my two positives to trade places. So we're going to get Na joins up with C2O4. But did I bring the numbers across? Well, those two numbers are on, pay on that polyatomic ion page. So that's why I bring the C2O4 across. Then we take H and put it with OH. Don't bring, don't bring this 2 across because that 2 is not on the polyatomic ion page. All right, now I'll do my charges. Plus one, minus two. Oh, those guys don't cancel each other. So I gotta bring this over and put a two there. And then I got HOH. Well, we learned earlier that that was water, but plus one, minus one, so they cancel each other. All right, now all we gotta do is balance this. So I got two H's, two C's, four O's, plus an NA, an O and an H. That's gonna be equal to two NA's, two C's, four O's, plus an H, O and an H. All right, skip the H's, do the C's. One, two, then one, two. Skip the O's, do the N's. One N-A, one, two. Need another one of this guy. One, two N-A, one, two N-A's. All right, let's do, we can do the H's. One, two, three, four. Well, on this side I only got one, two, so I need some more. There's four H's. And I do my O's, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's my final answer. So one, so I put nothing. One, two, put a two. One, leave it blank. One, two, put a two. And there's my final answer for that guy. Hopefully you see what I meant. Probably. They look very intimidating, but if you do them step by step, <clears throat> they pretty much fall right in place. Next one, FeCl3 plus LiOH. All right, first one, here's my positive three, negative one. Remember, Fe's are all plus three on this paper. Li is plus one, OH from the polyatomic ion page is negative one. Take the two positives, get them to trade. <coughs> so I'm gonna take Fe, he's gonna join up with OH. Plus, we're going to Li joins up with Cl. And again, we don't bring this 3 across because that's not on the polyatomic ion page. All right, do my charges. Fe's are all plus 3 in this paper. OH is negative 1 from the polyatomic ion page. So we got to crisscross that, put a 3 down there. Then we got Li, it's plus 1 from the periodic table. Cl is a negative 1, so those cancel each other. Now we're up to balance it. Make my circles. I got one Fe and I got three Cl's plus I got an Li, an O, and an H. That's equal to an Fe, an O, and an H three times plus an Li and a Cl. Start the first element all the way over the side. Fe, Fe. Those are even. Cl's. I got one, two, three. I only got one over here, so I need some more. There's two. There's three. All right, LIs, I got one, 
I got one, two, three, so I need some more of this guy. There's two of them. There's three of them, three LIs, three LIs. All right, let's do O's. We got one, two, three. On this side, I got one, two, three. H's, one, two, three. H's, one, two, three. There's my answer. So we get one, leave it blank, one, two, three, put a three. One, leave it blank, one, two, three, put a three. So there's our final answer for that one. All right, we got one more. So we're going to find our positives, get them to trade places. H is plus 1, S is negative 2. Cu is plus 2, NO3. For the polyatomic ion page, that's negative 1. So get my two positives, trade places. So we got Cu is going to join up with S plus. We get H joining up with NO3 from the polyatomic ion page. Do our charges. Cu is plus 2, S is negative 2. H plus 1, NO3 is minus 1. All those guys all cancel each other. All right, so there's our formulas. Now it's time to balance it. We got two H's and an S plus, we got a CU and an N and three O's, but two times. That's got to be equal to a CU and an S plus an H and an N and three O's. All right, so let's skip the H's, do the S's. One, one, that's even. CU is one, one, that's even. N's one, two. Well, I got one over here. All right, now my N's are even. All right, now we can jump back. We'll do the H's, one, two, one, two, that's even. All that's left is my O's, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And there's our final answer. All right, well, that takes care of the... Uh, double replacement reaction worksheet. So we'll see you next time. Have a great day.